Registered Phenomena Code 235 Object Class Beta White Hazard Types Grouped Hazard Sapient Hazard Animated Hazard Containment Protocols The instances of RPC-235 are to be kept in an unfurnished humanoid containment chamber, kept at 30% humidity. During transport, RPC-235-1 is to be placed within a custom-made steel sabot to prevent separation from other instances. Description: RPC-235 is a 175cm tall matryoshka painted to have the appearance of a clown. Russian wooden dolls of decreasing size put one inside another. RPC-235 is comprised of at least 13 RPC-235-1 through 13 nested dolls, each approximately 75% the size of the previous instance. Unpacking the sub-anomalies reveals that each shares the appearance of a clown, with each instance having a unique color scheme for its paint. RPC-235 and its sub-anomalies appear to be entirely seamless, as no indication of glue nor any edges were found, with the exception of the cut separating the dolls and the halves. Per this discovery, it is currently suspected that RPC-235 and its contents were carved wholly from a single block of oak wood. Each instance of RPC-235 also possess a fully articulate face capable of speech and sensory reception. As all instances of RPC-235 are hollow and lack any internal organs or mechanisms, it is unknown how this is accomplished. Movement of RPC-235 is mostly limited to slow shuffling, with the exception of leaping in and out of other instances, which they can accomplish with great speed and precision. Each instance of RPC-235 appears to be sapient with a distinct personality with all instances suffering from various degrees of physical or psychological trauma. Addendum 235-1 Interviewed RPC-235-13 Interviewer Dr. Rob Lanyon Forward RPC-235-13 was selected for interview as its size, 5.5 cm in height, made it exceptionally easy to control. It is also, to date, the only instance to provide direct responses to questions when asked. Interview was conducted with RPC-235-13 in a 6cm by 6cm by 6cm acrylic box with air holes, positioned at eye level with Dr. Lanyon. Begin log. Your cooperation is appreciated, 13. The first question I'd like to ask is about your origins. We had originally flagged you as likely being associated with a previously known group of interest. But the lack of their typical paraphernalia, as well as the information we've been able to glean from the ramblings of the rest of the instances of RPC-235, have called that assumption into question. So I'm just going to ask, who created you? Stare silently for ten seconds. Mother made us. Okay, that's not a definitive statement one way or the other. Stare silently for other ten seconds. Mother made us. From smallest to biggest so that we can all fit inside each other. No one would want to buy us otherwise, we'd take up too much room. Alright then, let's talk more about this mother. You say she made you so that she could sell you? Winces. Why else would you make people? And has she made other people to sell, aside from the other 235 instances? Oh yes, she's very industrious, busy as she can be. Can you offer us any information about where we might find her? Not at all. It's just that it's her job to regulate the sale of toys like you, in a way, and we just want to make sure that she is complying with all the necessary regulations. Mother doesn't follow rules. Mother makes the rules. Please, Thirteen. Anything that could lead us to your mother would be very helpful. Stares silently for fifteen seconds, then breaks down to hysterical sobbing. I'm sorry, what did I say, Thirteen? What's the matter, Thirteen? Ceases sobbing abruptly. She's not my mother. She's just mother. End log. Closing Statement RPC-235-13 refused to give any more statements following this interview. 
Investigations into possible persons of interest with any connection to RPC-235 are ongoing. Addendum 235-2 As of the recovery of RPC-239, we can confirm that the entity known as Mother has created more anomalies. These anomalies seem to have varied capabilities, with RPC-235 seeming to be a harmless toy, while RPC-239 is dangerous and violent. So far, we do not know how Mother created these entities. However, I believe that RPC-235 was, or were, once human, just like 239, although we don't have definitive proof of this yet. Sadly, every instance of RPC-235, including RPC-235-13, refused to do further interviews as of Addendum 235-1 and RPC-239 is uncooperative or outright too dangerous to interview further, despite its apparently more substantial knowledge of Mother, and even that knowledge seems limited. We will continue investigating as best as we can. H.R. Harker, Head of POI 9574 Investigative Team, October 23, 2000